Hello students, in this video I want to give you some excellent tricks to remember the asexual spores, different types of asexual spores formed by fungi. So here, so fungi comes under the topic, uh, under the chapter biological classification. Here I am going to give you types of asexual spores, whether they are motile or non-motile and then whether they are thin-walled or thick-walled, whether they are endogenous or exogenous asexual spores and examples of some fungi which are forming certain types of asexual spores. Okay, first type of asexual spores are zoospores. So, these zoospores are uh, motile spores. They are motile because they are flagellated spores and they are thin wall spores. They are endogenous in origin. Endogenous in origin means if they are formed inside a special structure, they are, that origin is called as endogenous origin. If they are formed outside, um, outside the mycelium, then that is exogenous in origin. So here zoospores are formed inside a special structure called zoosporangium. Hence these zoospores are endogenous in origin. And these motile spores are also called as planospores. The other name for motile spores is planospores. Right? Okay. So these zoospores are formed by oomycetes fungi. Actually, we have four classes of fungi. They are phycomycetes, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes. Phycomycetes includes, class of fungi includes two subclasses. They are oomycetes and zygomycetes. So, oomycetes fungi produces this type of spores, that is zoospores. Example is saprolegnia. So, saprolegnia is a fungus belonging to the subclass oomycetes fungi. Uh, belonging to the class phycomycetes. So, both oomycetes and zygomycetes belong to phycomycetes. Right. Next type of spores. These are sporangiospores. Sporangiospores are non-motile spores. Non-motile spores are also called as aplanospores. Non-motile spores are also called as aplanospores and these uh, spores are thin wall spores. They are endogenous in origin. Endogenous in origin because they are formed inside a structure called sporangium. They are formed inside a structure called sporangium. Hence, these are endogenous in origin. For example, zygomycetes fungi, um, zygomycetes fungi also belong to the class uh, Phycomycetes. Examples are rhizopus and mucar. Rhizopus is also called as pin mold or bread mold. Mucar is also called as dung fungus because uh, mucar goes, grows on dung. Hence, it is also called as coprophilus fungus or dung fungus. Right. Next type of spores are chlamydospores. These chlamydospores are non motile spores. These are thick wall spores which are formed under unfavorable conditions and these are endogenous in origin. Let's see how they are endogenous in origin. So let's say this is the fungal mycelium having uh, cells like this. So inside the fungal mycelium some protoplast, some amount of the protoplast, protoplast is surrounded by thick wall resulting in the formation of a spore called chlamydospore during unfavorable conditions. So, when the favorable conditions arise, these chlamydospores come out of this mycelium and germinate into new thallus of fungus, new fungal mycelium. Next, examples are zygomycetes fungi. Uh, among this zygomycetes fungi also, especially rhizopus and mucor forms, chlamydospores under unfavorable conditions. Next type of um, asexual spores are oidia. Oidia are non-motile spores. These are thin wall spores and these are produced under special conditions. Special conditions like high salt conditions, high sugar conditions or, and low pH conditions. When the conditions are with high salt, high sugar or low pH, under those conditions, these uh, asexual spores called oidia are formed. These are exogenous in origin. Exogenous in origin. And examples of these uh, oidia means examples of the fungi which form these oidia are zygomycetes fungi. Let's say this is the fungal mycelium. Now I am showing how this oidia are formed. This is the fungal mycelium and the tip of this fungal mycelium cuts off 
tip of the fungal mycelium undergoes mitotic division and cuts off this oidea like this oidea will be formed so these oidea can form buds buds at one end like this buds can be formed due to continuous budding it looks like torula stage torula stage which is formed in formed by yeast during budding so torula stage is also exhibited by fungi that is zygomycetes fungi during the formation of oidea if this oidea forms buds um, uh, around them then it looks like torula stage uh, torula stage is formed due to extensive budding of oidea so how it is forming bud um, on its surface because uh, due to the protrusion of some amount of uh, due to the protrusion of the cell wall of this oidea some amount of the protoplast enters into this protrusion resulting in the formation of bud if this bud again forms one more bud and if this bud again forms one more bud it looks it looks like extensive budding so this due to this ex extensive budding it forms uh, sto torula stage next type of asexual spores are conidia these conidia are again non motile spores these are thin wall spores these are exogenous in origin exogenous in origin because they are formed <coughs> exogenous in origin because uh, they are formed above special hyphae called conidiophores Co this is let's say this is conidiophore above this conidiophore these conidia are cut off these conidia are cut off like this like this so these uh, conidia are the arrangement of this conidia over conidio 4 is basi petal arrangement because the oldest one is towards the tip and the youngest uh, conidium is towards the towards uh, upper side and youngest conidia is conidium is towards lower side hence the arrangement of conidia over the sconidio 4 is uh, basi petal arrangement that means oldest conidium is towards apex and uh, youngest conidium is towards base right okay so examples of the fungi which are producing conidia are ascomycetes fungi and deuteromycetes fungi examples of ascomycetes fungi are pencilium and aspergillus deuteromycetes fungi are trichoderma trichoderma cyclosporin a these are the examples of deuteromycetes fungi which produce these cyclosporin cyclosporin okay so these are sorry trichoderma trichoderma only produces a product called cyclos cyclosporin a okay so trichoderma is the fungus belonging to the class deuteromycetes fungi which produces conidia so these are different types of asexual spores produced by fungi in the next video i'll be explaining about different types of sexual spores produced by fungi hope you understood this concept very well so that uh, you will not be confused between the types of spores fung produced by asexual spores produced by fungi and uh, uh, which type of spores are produced by which class of fungi and then whether they are thick walled or thin walled whether they are motile or non motile whether they are exogenous or endogenous all these things are very much clear to you i think now uh, so you using these tricks you can practice the questions of fungi Hope you understood all this concept. Thank you students.